okay so hi everyone today we'll see uh, how to change uh, the dimensions or the measures that we have used in a chart using parameters so uh, what I mean over here is so if you can see on my screen okay so on this right hand side you can see there are two parameters select dimension and select measure and by default in the dimension parameter subcategory has been selected right so now if I want to change this chart instead of uh, using subcategory if I want this bar chart to be shown as per the category then what can I do right so here if you see if I select category this chart will change automatically okay and it will give you the result as per the category selection now if I select segment it will uh, change this chart using uh, segment as a dimension and similarly for shift mode okay and same similar thing I have done for measures as well okay so by default profit has been selected so you can see for first class shipping the profit is 48,000 now if I want to see what was the quantity that were that was used using first class I can just simply select quantity in the parameter and this chart will change similarly for sales and for discount so this is uh, a very important uh, uh, feature of tableau you know and i have used in multiple dashboard across uh, my projects that i have worked on and this is really helpful because instead of creating separate charts for uh, different requirement right you can combine everything into into a single chart or you can say a single uh, graph and you can present it to the users okay so uh, basically it increases the usability uh, as well as it uh, gives a dynamic uh, feature to the user so that instead of going to the multiple charts they can uh, do all their uh, you know R&Ds in the in the same uh, chart using these parameters selections okay so anyways uh, let's begin with uh, how to achieve this okay so I will so this one I have already created but I will just to showcase uh, to every one of you so that it will be easy for you to understand I will create one from the scratch okay, okay. so this is uh, one of the uh, uh, connection that I have used which is uh, simple this and the super is a uh, store excel data that you can get online from uh, you can download it from the tableau uh, websites or you can uh, get it in the google uh, if you'll google it okay so first uh, what I will do uh, first I will create a parameter okay for dimension selection so I will name it as select dimension data type you have to give as a string okay and allowable value you have to select list now under list you can give the list of all the dimensions that you want to pass as a parameter and based on which you want your chart to change accordingly so here I will take an example of uh, category sub category and segment I will take only these three click OK so your parameter is ready okay now what you have to do you have to create a calculated field on top of this parameter so that uh, you can use that uh, matrix into uh, into the row shelf or basically uh, for creating the chart okay so I will go to create calculated field select dimension okay and here I will write a if else if statement so if select dimension is equal to category then category else if select dimension equal to sub category and then subcategory else if segment 
and then segment okay and then end so yeah so your dimension is ready once again I will show you the formula so basically we just have to see that if from the parameter you are passing category then it will take category as the dimension if uh, in the parameter you are passing subcategory then it will take subcategory as the dimensions okay okay now we'll test this uh, in the parameter click here and show parameter and the dimension calculation field that you have just created drag it into the rows okay. I will make it as a radio button instead of multiple multi level drop down okay so if you see here I have selected category and it is giving me the category values now if I will select subcategory it's giving me subcategory values and similarly if I am selecting segment then it is giving me the segment value okay now it's the exact same thing we have to do for measures as well okay so I will again create a parameter data type string a logal value list here I will give sales profit so I will take only uh, uh, two measures to show click ok again you have to create a calculated field select measure so if select measure is equal to sales then sales I will say select measure if it's equal to profit then profit and end okay so this select measure uh, calculated field is also done we'll check this as well so just double click on it and on this select measure parameter click show parameter make this also as a radio button and see if the values are changing or not okay so if you can see here if I click uh, if I selected profit here it's for consumer it's 134k if I selected sales it's uh, almost 1 million right okay so basically both of your uh, your attributes are ready now only thing is to create a chart out of it so I will select sales subcategory in measures I will select sales here I will do entire view now what I can do uh, so as you can see although the, we are showing these bars but there are no labels on top of it right so what I will do uh, the select measure I will drag into the labels okay and the select dimensions I will drag into the colors okay yeah so yeah so here you go your chart is ready with dynamic selection of dimensions and measures as you can see we can change the dimensions at runtime as well as we can change the measure values at the runtime so hope you guys like this video uh, thank you so much for watching if you have any questions post in the comment section and I will try to reply back on that thank you so much